If you have trouble parking downtown, you're in luck. A new initiative from the city of Charleston is designed to make peninsula parking easier. That means replacing all of the city's nearly 1,700 meters on the streets and also on the surface lot. Our Molly McBride breaks down the changes that you can expect and when. Funded by money set aside by city council last year, city officials tell me they expect all meters to be upgraded like this one by the end of this year. With the change comes more payment options. On top of the coins and credit cards you can use at the meters, people will now be able to pay through the Flowbird app or through text message. The app can also be used to find nearby parking garages and monitor parking availability by ranking streets as red, yellow, or green. Director of Traffic and Transportation for the city says the change aligns with the new administration's efforts to improve customer service in the city overall. With this customer-focused approach, even applying to parking enforcement. A change that's taken kindly to longtime Charleston resident Joyce Ware, who parks downtown daily. Last week, I found a spot up on Broad, and I tried to put, I put my card in the, in the meter, and it wouldn't take it. And I tried all three cards, so I figured the mo mo meter's broken. But I'm hoping it'll, it'll take my card, unlike the old meters that were all funky. On top of the on-street meter upgrades, all of the city's surface lot meters will be replaced with these solar-powered kiosks, which have already been installed in several lots in the city. City officials tell me they hope these changes will help prevent parking tickets, with people being able to add time virtually on the app. Although that two-hour parking limit isn't changing. Reporting in Charleston, I'm Molly McBride.